Hello everyone, I'm here at uh, the Lions Cemetery. So this is gonna be a short stroll through the Lions Cemetery, Lions, Colorado. Lions started in 1880, I think it was platted in 1881, and finally became an official city in 1891. Uh, Ed Edward Lyon, is named after Edward Lyon. He had a farm over here and had a quarry a uh, sandstone quarry and a lot of that sandstone uh university of colorado all those buildings are made out of that sandstone from that quarry and i'm sure a lot of a lot of things in colorado and elsewhere that are made of sandstone is from sandstone from lions and i guess it's some of the hardest sandstone in the world lions colorado the mountains are so beautiful there. The red sandstone. But looks like they had to cut down a couple trees. There's a tree there. A tree there that got cut down. I just wish I could count those tree rings, see how old that tree is. It looks like it's a, it was a fairly old tree, doesn't it? All right, let's check out some graves. What Harry R. Edna Campbell, 1887 to 1973. Well, they died the same year, 1891, 1973. Eugene Smith. Wow, look at that. October 11th, 1913. To October 12th, 1992. He almost died the day he was born. On the 11th. It took him one more day. <laughs> the sun is shining so bright today. It's very, very beautiful and peaceful out here. Surrounded by houses though at this cemetery. There's houses up on that hill. The house up there. There's a real beautiful ridge right there. There's a house ferry on the top of that ridge there. There's a couple houses over there on those ridge. Hutchison. Merton and Minnie. 1883 to 1966. She died. Minnie. 2008. Another one of those couples where the, the wife lived quite a bit longer than the husband. In memory of Mary H. Rowe, June 10th, 1878 to July 12th, 1967. She walked in faith, hindered by hardship, and never lost her way. Oh, be interesting to see what kind of hardships she went through. Hannah Smith, C. Lloyd Floyd Smith, 1902 to 1991, 1899 to 1974. There's a couple sandstone graves, red sandstone, probably quarried here in Lyons, Colorado. Jacob Dean and Barbara. Bennett. He was 1943 to 1995. She's 1944. Okay, she's still alive. Another sandstone. Lyons is a cool little town. It's one of my favorite towns in Colorado. It's just a cool little town. Because Highway 66 goes right through the middle of town and then it comes to a stop sign or stop light. Is it a stop sign or stop light? Should be a stop light to tell you the truth. But you can go left into uh, Allen's Park or you can go right into Estes Park. Beloved wife, beloved mother, beloved aunt, 
beloved friend, Karen Vasquez. Born 1948, died October 1996, 1995. Got it hard to tell there. Maybe 1995. Go take a check out some of these other graves over here. a crow there he is flying off into the tree there Davies no not Ray Davies of Super Tramp Ernest H 1918 to 2008 Virginia G 1923 to 2018 they were married December 8th 1943 Swift. George, Ray, and Ethel. George, 1908 to 1970. Ray, 1931 to 1952. And Ethel, 1910 to 2011. Daniel. Myrtle and Irwin, 1881 to 1969. 1880 to 1957. Pop. Here's Mr. Pop, Ralph H. Luton, 1910 to 1977. This one is Gloy Ruth Watson, our darling, 1928 to 1946. Must be a daughter, possibly. George Raymond Swift, George Arthur Swift, World War II. to 1970, 1931 to 1951. Are these the same Swiss over here? Yeah, George, Ray, and Ethel. So the other George went by Ray, and then Ethel must be the, their sister, possibly? La Follette, June and Bob, 1916 to 2006, 1917 to 1996. This plant over here is starting to come bud out a little bit. See that? I think this is a lilac bush. It's starting to bud. See that? I wonder what color that's going to be. It smells good out here. I smell the pine trees. Emil A. Lati, Colorado, World War II, November 11th, 1900, July 4th, 1952. This is a cool looking headstone. Sandstone, but look how you see the layers of sandstone. How beautiful, God. Gor Goranson, Wallace A. Barbara Granson, 1936 to 2012, 1926 to 2006. I love that tombstone, very unique. See the snow? <laughs> The King Alretta and James James Dan King 
1864 to 1950, 1863 to 1952. These were probably fairly popular. These tombstones that kind of look like a tree, like a tree stump. Lewis Jensen, 1860, died 1899. He was only 38 years old. Gone but not forgotten. That's a fairly old grave right here. Pretty small cemetery. Have you noticed there's a lot of cemeteries, there's always a water tower next to it. They kind of put cemeteries up on a hill, you know, because they kind of want to avoid when there's a, whenever there's a flood. You don't want your cemetery to be flooded out. Lamar, John W., 1899 to 1978. Pearl, 1900 to 1965. John, World War II, 1920, 1977. A lot of these trees planted here, they look like to be Siberian elm. Siberian elm have a tendency to do pretty well in Colorado. They don't need much water. Godard Fern, 1909. Looks like they're doing some digging here. <laughs> oh, they're digging out a water line. Oh, That's a cute little grave. Horace R, son of Oh, there's something there. Is that poop? No, it's just mud. A. R. G. M. Rowley, 1934 to 1935. Just a baby. Oh, here's another tree that's been taken out. Here's a cute grave with rocks around it. Carter, Herbert E. and Wanda, 1931 to 2009, 1922 to 2010. Here's a fairly old one here. Father John, Mother Susanna Laukinen, born in Finland, 1848 to 1932. 1851 to 1925. They are digging next to that grave too. More water lines. Here's some deer poop. So you know deer have been coming in this cemetery. Lock, Renee, Elaine, Verde May. Now, did they both die May 9th, 1969? Together forever in Christ. I'll have to look that up on the internet, see if I can find anything. So, Verde May and Renee Elaine. Verde was born in 1923, Renee was born in 1957. But it almost looks like they died on the same day, May 9th, 1969. Must have been in some kind of an accident. James H. Locke, 1919 to 2001. I bet, you, I bet you he lost his wife and his daughter to something, maybe a car wreck. I will have to check that out. 
Sometimes you can't find any information though. This one is very difficult to read. Larson. I can't even read that. It has been weathered down so bad. I think that's marble. Marble has a tendency to wear down quite a bit over the years. Yeah, Siberian Alps have a tendency to drop their branches a lot. See how they do that? Not my favorite tree, but they're okay. But it's a cute little cemetery. I'll have to come up here in the summertime. Obviously all these cemeteries are going to be prettier in the summertime. The leaves on the trees and the flowers and the grass is all green. Let's go take a look at one more grave and then I'll call this video good. Let me see. Wish I could go through everyone, but I just you just can't. It'd take you take you forever. I'll do this one. Fred H. Thompson. He's all here by himself. 1874 to 1958. All right, I gotta get back to my maple dog. Take her home. Take her for another walk around the neighborhood. That'll be her second walk for the day. Bearcat, that's a cool name. Barry John Kelly. 1947 to 2013. Enthusiast of life's finer things, family, good friends, PBR. Hey, my kind of guy, and wild turkey. Wow. I like both PBR and wild turkey. The man is buried in the town he loved, but the legend of the bear cat lives on. All right, bear cat. Hope you're having fun wherever you are. Oh, before I go, I want to show you this statue. Who's this guy? He's a baby. A fur baby. Right, hey, going? good. Oh, that's a beautiful statue. Born 1962, died 1997. Vasquez. Gaspar M. Vasquez, statue of Jesus. Uh, these are all Vasquez. Ramon Vasquez, I have fought the good fight, have finished the race, have kept the faith. 1955 to 2019. Amanda Joe Vasquez. 1988 to 2005. That poor girl didn't live very long. Uh, here's a cowboy. Robert Dean Sutherland. 1941 to 2009. Gone yet. Not forgotten. Although we are apart, your spiritual lies within us forever in our hearts. Uncle Bob.
Poe, Albert Poe and Jacqueline Poe. 1926 to 2000, 1932 to 2003. Gosnell. Huh, that just says Gosnell. Nothing else. Gleasing. Donald T. C. Lynn. Donald is still alive, 1936. C. Lynn has passed on, 1943 to 2001. Alright, what a beautiful day. Those beautiful clouds, I love those clouds. They look like cotton floating in the sky. Beautiful. Alright, hope you enjoyed a short stroll through the Lions Colorado Cemetery. Take care. Live every moment. God bless.